Hey makers this is Truveen and in this episode I am going to talk about Fluent UI date picker in detail this is one of the components from the creator kit and that is something I am going to cover in this session at the end of the session you will be able to create this kind of beautiful date picker and when you select any date it will close automatically and it will show the appropriate date over here inside the text box now let's have a look and check how we can configure the fluent ui date picker from the creator kit if you haven't visited the earlier episodes of creator kit the entire playlist link is available in the description box so do check it out also if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far please do follow me and one more important thing 70% of you are watching the video but not subscribing to the channel so make sure that you subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me this is free for you but it helps me in lot other way and that motivate me to create the amazing content on the power platform so make sure that you subscribe to the channel so without further delay let's get started how to install creator kit that is something i have covered already in the first episode of this playlist now let's just add the fluent ui calendar control so for that click on get more component click on the code section and let's have a look for the calendar once you do that you can able to see fluent ui calendar so this is the control that we are going to use now i already added that so i'm not adding that again but you need to click on import button from here once you import that that will be available under your code component now over here you can see that i have fluent ui calendar control so let's add that control on the screen and that control is looking like this by default this will show something like this now let's check the different property of the fluent ui calendar control now over here remember one thing this is something which is available as a part of control now to create this kind of outcome we simply need to write up couple of events on top of that so let's check on that in detail so let's say for an example this is my fluent ui calendar control let's check the property so by default let's say if you want to show the option go to today then you need to enable this switch turn on or off based on that this value will be enable or disable then is month picker visible which means that let's say for an example if you don't want to show this month picker option over here you can simply hide that then day picker visible if you hide want to just have this option then you can just switch to that now there is one option highlight the selected month so whatever month you selected if you want to highlight that this option is used if you turn it off it will not show that option similar way highlight the current month so let's say selected month is june and current month is feb then feb is also highlighted over here so this is something which is decided based on that control then let's say show six week by default so let's say for an example currently in date picker uh we have current month data but if you want to show six week like this then it will show something like this then if you want to show the week number this week number value will be added over here so that configuration is also available also let's say for an example if you want to start your control from sunday then you can select sunday from here let's say if your week is starting from monday you can show monday so your date picker control will start from monday over here right so this is amazing so there are lots of other configuration which are provided over here now let's say i just want to integrate this date picker for my text box then how can i do that so let's try to understand that so by default this date picker control is an independent control now if i want to open that on text box then let's have one text box control over here so i'm just taking one text input control over here and let me just remove the default value from here and let me provide hint text as select date now whenever my focus whenever i'm selecting this date picker as soon as i i just want to show this date picker and whenever i'm selecting and i'm finishing this thing i just want to hide this date picker okay so let's write up the code for that so over here you need to select your text box control and need to open on select event for that so as soon as you click on that you want to hide that so let me just define one variable show calendar is true and show calendar is false so whenever i do that it should be true and over here select this calendar control just arrange it like this and let's just shrink its size a little bit 
and let's just set the width of this state picker and now as soon as i select that i want to show that so over here i am just going to the visible condition and making this variable over here so if this variable is true then only i want to show that so as soon as i my focus will going into this control this date picker control will be visible over here right so this is looking like this now let's say for an example as soon as i select this control let's say i am selecting this date 16 as soon as I select that, I want to hide this control automatically. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm uh, I'm just selecting this control. I'm just going here and talk about the on change event. So on change event, what we will use, we will use the same formula to hide that. So whatever we have written here, let's copy that, go here, and let's write on the on change event. And on change event, I just want to make this control as a disable so i'm just making this as a false so let's have a look so what i'm doing here is as soon as select it is appearing and as soon as i am selecting anything from here it is just disabling that control okay so yeah this is cool now let's say for an example as soon as i select the date i want to show that date inside my text box for that we will simply select the text input control and go to the default event as soon as we go to the default event we need to print whatever we have with this date picker control so i'm just uh, what i'm doing is i'm just writing a code i'm just whatever value is there for calendar 2 so let's pick up the id of calendar 2 calendar 2 dot selected date value and i just want to convert this date time to the short date and engb something like this ddmmyy something like this i want to convert it so let's say i'm selecting 22nd of february so it should look like this 22nd 0 2023 so this is something which is done by this default event okay so whatever value is selected i am just printing that into my text box so this is cool right so uh, let's say i'm selecting 28 february so it is selecting that also let's say sometimes we have a situation that whatever value is there for the uh, your text box you want to show that as your default value in the calendar picker as well then how can you do that because this is the case for edit form let's say you're creating the edit form and when user click on edit and open this state picker by default this 28 should be selected over here as well so what we will do is we will simply select this date picker control and we will simply go to the on change event where we just hide this thing so what we are doing here is i'm defining one set variable where i am storing this calendar pickers selected date value so this set variable holds the value of the selected date on change and the same value we need to provide in the selected date value property so i am pasting the exact same variable over here variable selected date but it is not showing the proper format so for that let's just uh, uh, change the format like this date value and inside that i'm providing that variable and converting its format properly like this okay so this is how it will be set now one more important thing for edit form case what will be happen is let's say for an example you open that item on the page and you are getting that entire item so in that case in the same variable you need to provide the exact same value which is coming from the database and that will automatically set this value inside your text box along with your date picker now let's trace the thing so from here i'm selecting month of july and i'm selecting 27th from here so it is showing 27th over here now let's see if the same date is selected or not so i am clicking on that again and you can see that by default 27 has been highlighted over here same way let's say for an example if you are in the edit form so on the edit form whatever value that is stored in the database you will just set into that variable and that will show the exact same output to you over here so this is how you can simply configure the fluent ui date picker control so if you are bored with the traditional date picker control which are coming with the out of the box power apps then you can definitely go with this fluent ui date picker control so that's it for today hope this video helps you and values your time if so hit thumbs up and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my youtube channel 
Also, if you are looking for any consultation training, the website link is available over here. And don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also, if you are looking for short content on Power Platform, there is a dedicated channel, Digital Dhruvin, where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. Make sure that you hit subscribe that channel as well. Also, all the social media links are available on the channel cover right page. So make sure that you follow me on my all social media handle. With this, this is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.